Hey maker, welcome to the Snapseed photo editing for product photography, six part video series. This is video five. This is a six part video series focusing on the 2025 updated iOS version of Snapseed. So if you missed any of the previous videos, you can grab a link for the series playlist in the description below this video. And if this is your first time joining me, Hey, I'm Christina Nicole product photography coach for makers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save or export your images so that the resizing settings are actually applied. So in the app, we are going to go up to the top right hand corner here, and that is going to be our export option. You'll notice that we have four different ways of going about saving and exporting your photo. This can get confusing because we're not sure which one to use. Only certain ones actually apply the settings. And with this new update, there is some confusion. I've done significant amount of testing. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through each option and talk about what the best options are. So save to an original that's going to replace the original image image that you have within your native photos app. We don't want to do that. We don't want to ever get rid of an original photo. It's probably the photographer in me, but I always like to keep an original so that if I ever have to go back and make any changes, I can do that. It does say that the edits can be reverted. I have tested this. I can go into my photo app and I can revert the edits back to the original, but still, I like to keep an original copy. The other downside to save an original is it does not apply those resizing settings. So the image size and the format and quality, it's not going to apply those adjustments. Save a copy. What that does is it adds a new photo. So it creates a copy of your photo with edits that you can revert. It also allows you to select that image and bring or open it back up in Snapseed and you can see the entire edit stack and make adjustments to edits you've already done. This is amazing. This allows you to make small tweaks if you need to, to the edits you already made. The downside is I have tested this pretty thoroughly. And when I do save a copy with an edit stack, so I have an image that has all these edits in it and I choose save a copy, it does not apply the settings. So it doesn't apply the image resize or the format and quality change. However, if I choose to export this in a different option, like let's say I export it, I save the image by using the export option, which we'll talk about here in a minute, and then I open it back up in Snapseed, it doesn't have the edit stack, but if I choose to save a copy at that point, for some reason it's applying the settings. So I don't know if there's a glitch here, but when I'm choosing to save the image with an edit stack, it's not applying the settings. So the downside to that is I really like having a save a copy so that if I want to open it back up in Snapseed and make adjustments to the edits I already made, I have that edit stack there. The export option, it creates a copy, but it has permanent changes. So meaning you can't pull that photo back up into Snapseed and see the edit stack. The edit stack is no longer there. However, it does apply the setting. So it's going to reduce the pixels and it's going to reduce the, the overall quality of the photo. It's going to make those settings that you put in, it's going to apply them. The share option, if we tap the share option and we choose save image, that is going to save a photo in your photos app where the settings have been applied to check your metadata on an image on an iPhone and on an iPad, all you do is swipe up. So you want to swipe up and you want to look for that 2000 by 1500. And then you want to make sure your file size is under one megabyte. 
So this one is about 650 kilobytes. So it is applying the settings. But if we go into snap scene and we go to add that photo, so that would have been our most recent photo, the edit stack is not there. So the share option, the export option, it's not keeping the edit stack. So in either of those options, we cannot open the image back up and make adjustments to the edits we already made, like we can here. So this was our original edit stack. So my advice at this point, because this is a change to the new 3.0 version, my workflow moving forward will be to save a copy so that I have a saved copy of that edit stack I can reopen and make adjustments to in Snapseed. However, it's not going to apply my resizing settings. Then I can either use the export or share option to actually, re, to actually apply those resizing settings. This isn't ideal. It used to be that we could just choose save a copy. It would apply the settings. We would have that edit stack to be able to open back up again. So the point in me sharing all this with you is so that you can make the best decision that you need to, but just understand if you want to make sure that those settings, those resizing settings are applied, you have to use the export or the share option. In video six, I'm gonna walk you through my Snapseed editing workflow to make editing your product photos much faster. See you next time.